It might look peculiar, but this new technology allows you to visualise what happened during the dramatic Dam Busters raid in a new and unique perspective using the art of virtual reality. So uh, Gibson has realised that his attack uh, on, the, on the dam hasn't been successful and he's calling in uh, the, next, the next to attack. And if I stand up from this position, I can look through the Astrodome above the uh, wireless operator area and I can see um, they're making their attack now. But they've been hit by flat fire and they're trailing fire out the left side of their wing. They've dropped their bomb but it's bounced directly over the dam and it's, uh, they've not hit it. When people come out of the experience, we don't, we don't think they're going to have more knowledge about the dates and the figures and, and the names of the people who are on the plane, but it's more about what they would have felt. So we're trying to get to the human story of the people that are on the aircraft and um, remember them as people rather than, um, than numbers or surnames in a block book somewhere. Situated at the RAF Museum in London, members of the public, historians and relatives of those whose family had taken part in the raid are given the opportunity to transport to the skies above the Mona Dam in 1943 aboard the Lancaster bomber and be part of the RAF crew's daring Second World War mission. My great-great-uncle was a rear gunner in the Dam Busters raid. He was involved in the third wave and his target was the Sorper Dam. Uh, they were actually the last crew to leave RAF Scampton um, because they let the more inexperienced crew members go off last and let the more experienced ones go first. By the time they got to the dam, the mist was very high so they weren't able to see their target effectively, um, which meant that after three hours of flight they turned around and went home. Once they got back, uh, they faced quite a lot of criticism from Guy Gibson and the more senior officers in the crew um, for not dropping their bomb. I think it must have been terrifying. I think it was, they were all so young and for them to go out um, as quite a small team in a very imposing um, aircraft, I think it must have been very, very scary. And I have huge admiration for everyone that was involved on that night. So just explain what that experience was like for you. It's about as close as you're gonna get sitting in a museum, to be honest. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that lifelike, it really. Well, I mean, we've had quite a lot of time sat in Lancaster's and it's yeah. it banned. Absolutely. Yeah, it's far more detailed than I expected it to ever be. You know, actually seeing the movement in your own fingers and looking around, everything in sort of real time is pretty incredible. Amazing. I mean, it must have been utterly terrifying. I don't know how our generation could could do that. I'm not sure I could do that. It was very claustrophobic though. You kind of you really get the impression that you're properly hemmed in. The story of the Dam Busters was selected for this prototype, but the scope of the project is not limited to this setting. It could be the first chapter of a series of immersive experiences that's released in the near future.